So, why is your soup pot looking indecent? What are you doing with your soup pot? I have a chicken taking a nosedive. <laughs> okay. And what are you doing with the chicken? Is that your soup stock? Yep, that's going to be shredded chicken and soup stock. Okay. And when I get the soup stock made, I will make you broccoli, cauliflower, cheddar soup. So how long has this got to cook for? Oh, three more hours. Um, quit doing indecent things to that chicken. <laughs> You'd be surprised the indecent things that get done to meals. And not just in my house. <laughs> okay. So what do you got in there? I've got a handful of peppercorns, um, some the top parts of the celery that nobody likes to eat, half of a dahlia onion, salt, and chicken and water. How much water? Just to fill the pot to get it over the chicken? Yeah, what? till it's covered. That's why I have to stuff this one down as the, as the other two. I've got three chickens in here. Oh, okay. And I did not feel like getting out the turkey fryer. So I put it into my pressure cooker, but I'm just cooking it like a saucepan. Is that your 16 liter pressure cooker? I believe so, yeah. It's my second biggest. Uh, it's not your pressure canner? No, it's my pressure cooker. Are you going <clears> to <throat> pressure cook that thing? Nope. Okay. Pressure cookers, you don't get the smells of food. And I like the smell of chicken soup. Don't much care for chicken soup taste when it's store-bought, but I love the smell of it cooking, so... Okay. So, you're going to come back in three and a half hours? Oh, I'll keep checking it. It won't take longer than three hours. It might only take two. Okay. And then I will pull all the meat off the bones and do what Noreen did and use my KitchenAid and shred it. And I will have shredded shredded chicken for making sandwiches. Ah, uh, I like that. So in two hours we back, be back. Okay, you're on. The chicken was on cooking. It finished cooking and I was going to let Don video me taking it out, but three chickens came up, came out in about 25 different pieces and it looks kind of like this so I didn't think you really needed to see that mess. And what are you going to do with this junk? This junk is the base for your favorite soup. It's soup stock. It'll go into a can, it'll go into jars and it'll be pressure canned tomorrow after it sits out inside in the garage and the fat goes to the top. Okay. Now I will take the meat off the bones if I don't burn my fingers. Shall we move this out to the garage instead? You can take the pot out, yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Put the lid on just in case the cats get out here when they're not supposed to. This is my walk-in refrigerator or freezer as the case may be according to the season. This is what the weather is like outside today. A little bit cold. <laughs> so today it's my freezer and that's where it'll sit overnight. And the now I start taking the meat off the bones. I'm not going to be too picky about getting it off the rib cage.
to throw the skin away. What was that? The skin and the bones will go in that bowl and will be thrown into the garbage. You cannot compost meat and I don't like giving the cats big bone, bones of any sort really and they don't care for the skin so it'll go in the garbage. Alright, hang on one second while I put this on a tripod. I'm not going to be too fussy about what the pieces look like either. It's going to be shredded for shredded chicken. And just be sure you take all the gristle out. I hate gristle. Some of that will be for the cats, but after it cools. Oh, okay. Or for anybody that feels like munching. Is that a pointed reference to the fact that I'm not on a diet? I don't think you need to see me picking over the carcass, so I'll bring you back when I'm done and getting ready for the next step. One of these days here, I gotta get you a bigger kitchen. lessons on not being clumsy. Well, with the bigger kitchen you could have everything all set up. I'd still have to clean it up afterwards. Now this is the paddle that Noreen said use. I can't see what you got. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get the camera over. And let's see how this goes. Up to you got it locked? Yeah. Okay. I'd say you had too much in there. You think? Pass me the bowl. Mrs. Wolfie was saying you shouldn't keep this up for indefinite lengths of time because apparently there's something about the oil in there and it'll all run down and out of the machine. So that's one habit I'm going to have to break. Or dear, I could buy you a bigger machine. And it's being recorded, so you can't say what you usually <laughs> say.
uh, it comes forward to lock. If you got me a bigger one, I would have to have you in the kitchen helping me much more often because I couldn't lift it. Basic kitchen safety. Turn the machine off first. You're in my kitchen. You're not at your job. My job is everywhere when it comes to safety. I'm a barrack trainer. The last person that tried to tell me how to be safe in my kitchen got the job. Until you fired me. Well, if I want to eat what you cook, I'd have to teach you how to cook first. I'd say there's still a lump in there. I don't think so. What exactly? <laughs> supposed to look like. Well, I think that's well shredded. You can make chicken salad out of that. Okay. Another bowl? Yes, down there. Take it out of this bowl and then add more to it and finish up. It's locked. <laughs> My mother had an old really old mix master. I think it was around 50 years old. She got it the year she was married or shortly thereafter and you could take it off the stand and use any bowl you liked. That was so nice. Now you have pulled chicken instead of pulled pork. Okay. Ooh, there's another bone. Now I'm going to have to go and watch some more videos and figure out what to do with it. Pulled anything is not really something I've ever tried. Noreen used all chicken breast, but I have always found that chicken breast is much too dry for my liking. That's why I decided to try it on the chickens, to try the whole thing. Well, that and the fact that you bought the chicken so that you could have stock instead, and that's all the chicken was for. And there's a cat waiting for his stuff. Oh. Shredded Pardon chicken. Me? That's, that's how I went about making my shredded chicken. For me it's an experiment. And I will probably do some of the 
sliders? Chicken sliders that Noreen showed how to make using different combinations. And meanwhile, it's still not snowing out, thank goodness. So, there's my meat from three, from three frying chickens. And yes, the KitchenAid does a wonderful job. <laughs>